the front. It goes yeah. all the way behind and comes in front of And this is the church. Yeah. So right in the middle. Right in the middle. And then this is where the new school, yeah. three floors will be built. And it'll come around in like an L shape. Yeah, like an L shape. But right now, the school is just in this building, this building. alone. So this is a school being built? Okay. It runs from so to so. Wow. So this is the church. So what do you need to do to, to get it finished? You need what now? You need to get the uh, crushed rocks, the cement, the sand, uh, the steel rods. Basically, afterwards, and the food, we'll talk about the windows. But the most important thing we need to do tonight is to do the first floor, the first concrete that covers uh, the cross rocks, the steroids, uh, the sand, the cement. And how many floors are you looking for the school to be? It should be like three. Three floors? Three floors, yeah. This is the first, the second, and the third. Wow, okay. And how many students do you think you want to serve? Well, if this is true, we should have not less than 500 students here. How many do you have now? Right now, I think I have uh, 80, 80, 80? 80, 80 students. Awesome. And so you want your school to serve from what age to what age, once the, all three floors are finished? To high school. So up to, from up to 21, right? From baby to 21. Yes, It's a huge. <laughs> Colombo, they're waiting for it to dry so they can put the uh, cover there. You can see them turn beautifully. Uh, the window bars have just got in since yesterday. And uh, the guys have been able to begin putting in the window bars on the school building. As you can see, the window bars are now being mounted on the building. The Colombo just waiting to get dry so you can do the banister on the Colombo. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 the window bars are up. The classroom and the bathroom is almost true. Uh, the, the, the bathrooms are almost true. So basically, we are progressively moving. Uh, seemingly, we might. Uh, we might meet our target uh, as things are now. Understand? Like I said, we're grateful that the window bars are up now. After they are dried, the next step is to begin to put in uh, the window glasses. And then from the window glasses, the doors will be mounted. Uh, when the doors are mounted, then we'll start to do the tiles on the floor. So basically, we'll, we'll, we'll come along with. How can we be able to contribute to the next generation so that when when they when they have been educated here, they will find it their responsibility to develop this community. And the way to do that, I think it was the church's responsibility to do that. So it gave me hope about getting involved in educating the children. When I first went to Liberia and I saw all the schools being torn down to nothing and that people were trying to have classes under a big tree, I remember that and how that was your desire to, to have this vision come to pass and you're doing an excellent job. But you also have um, a vision for the parents because the yes. school will not only be for the children during the daytime, but you also wanted the vocational training center for, yes. the, for the adults. Because you see, if they have a job, you know, you wanted sewing machines, you wanted um, technology training, they would be the ones to get it going. 
so that by the yes. time your children get out of school, mommy will have a little shop, daddy will have, you know, computer or whatever technology will be placed. So it, that whole comprehensive approach is extremely powerful. And I think that's one of the reasons why Beth Rafa, and let me add, Re Reverend Katrina can uh, uh, support me in this. Many, many people, many churches from the beginning really have contributed to this project. We anticipate that in the next maximum two weeks time, as the pace is going, we should be ready for class. When, they, when, they, when the school is finished now, the next stage now should be the library and the, uh, uh, what the thing is here, the computer room. Then we start to do the playground because we already cleared the playground. So we already got a design for it. And when we get through with the whole building now, that, that includes the uh, computer room and the library. Then the next stage now is to go out now, which will be the uh, uh, playground and the cafeteria. I just want to say that we are going to see this all the way to the end. Amen. You know, um, missions require completion. And Amen. so we're not just starting because we have such an investment in those children. And yes. I see them sitting together and, you know, waving at us. I, I just feel even more committed. And um, I'm not the only one. The church feels committed. It's going to be finished. We are almost there. I'm so happy for you. The Lord yes. has really given you a vision and he does not Amen. give vision without provision. I know we say that, Amen. but I do believe that.